Dearly beloved in Christ Jesus, I invite you all to today's program, Oh Jesus, Talk to Me. Today, God is going to speak you with a word and He is going to refresh your hearts. Are you feeling that your hearts are not refreshed? No one is speaking kind to me. God's word will speak kind things to you. His words will refresh your heart. He is greater than any person in this world. His love is greater. When we have such a great God as He, as our God, why we have to worry? Let us not worry for anything. Be happy. Let us turn to God's word now. The book of Philemon, there is only one chapter. The first chapter and the seventh verse. For we have great joy and consolation in thy love. Because the bubbles of the saints are refreshed by thee, brother. Saint Paul writes to a man named Philemon. This Philemon is of the same age group as Saint Paul. So Saint Paul addresses him uh, by saying not his name, but he says, brother, my brother, he says. And he says, O oh, Philemon, my brother, our hearts are refreshed by you. Our hearts are refreshed by you. And we have great joy and consolation in your love. My dear brother, my dear sister, can we say that the hearts of our wives or husbands are refreshed by your love? Husbands who are watching me, can you say, is your wife's hearts refreshed by your words? And wives, can you say, uh, are you refreshing the hearts of your husband? See, we have to be people who speak kind words in our houses, in the churches and in the society so that our hearts are refreshed as well as the people who hear our words, their hearts are refreshed, they'll be encouraged, they'll be made enthusiastic. Many people, we speak kind words to others, but in our own houses, we hurt people. Husbands hurt their wives and wives hurt their husbands. And outside, you know, they will speak kind words towards other people. As you speak kind words to other people, we have to be the same people in our houses also. Here St. Paul says, in kind words, my brother Philemon, our hearts are refreshed by your love. See, only Holy Spirit God can refresh us. Matthew, the 11th chapter, 28 and 29 says, our Lord Jesus Christ says, Consolation belongs to me. The ones who are without joy, you come to me and you will find rest for your souls. Rest for our souls comes from the Lord Jesus Christ. Refreshment comes from the Lord Jesus Christ alone. From him alone. So, the Lord Jesus Christ is residing inside of us as the Holy Spirit God. So, give space to the Holy Spirit God in your lives. Invite him between your relationships, husbands and wives, between your relationships, father, mother and son or daughter, between your relationships. When you do that, the words that you speak will refresh the one who hears you. Otherwise, the words that you speak will hurt the people who hear your words. So be very careful in how you speak and what you speak. Our words should be filled with faith and love. It should be filled by faith and love. When we speak such words in our houses, in our churches and in the society in which we are living, then we will be people who refresh others like the dear brother Philemon. We will, our words will refresh. It will be refreshing to others. When they hear our words, they will be made enthusiastic. They will be filled with energy. May God make you people who speak kind words in your houses and refresh others with your words. Stay safe and may God bless you all. Let me pray for you now. Lord Jesus Christ, I come for this dear ones, Lord. Your word says, come to me all your weary ones and I will give you rest, Lord. Lord, you have kept relationships in this world. 
Let us be people who refresh others with our actions, our intents and words. Let us be kind one towards the another. Let us not hurt anyone with our words, Lord. If we have hurt anyone with our words, Lord, we repent. Forgive us, Lord. And cleanse us of our sins by washing us with your precious and holy blood. Lord, help us to run the race by looking upon you, Lord. By looking upon you, Jesus. Lord, build our relationships. Heal our relationships. In our houses, Lord, bless and protect. Appa, let your blessings and protection be with every one of them who are watching the message. I thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering the prayer. I pray in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, O Heavenly Father. Amen. Amen.